Hey Thinksters, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Thinksters.com and in today's video you are going to learn about a new Python one-liners uh, trick. So, uh, so uh, it, within the for the launch process of my new book Python one-liners, which appeared in uh, previous year five months ago or so, um, I will record one one video for each chapter uh, in order to explain the chapter to you, so that you also have the videos as an assistance. Or if you if you cannot afford to buy the book, you can just watch the videos and you get the same content. So let's dive into the into the into the topic. So uh, today's video is about regular expressions. Uh, we already have uh, addressed five topics about uh, regular expressions, and in this this uh, interesting um, tutorial we are going to learn about how so given say 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 you 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 have a web startup and you have uh, you have an old website that con that has many links to http sites okay so you have these http links say in an old article or so and um, you want to move all links to https so to a secure way to the ssl um, um, uh, website so for example you want to have the https links okay and so in order to do this you need to um, find first of all the first step is to find all http links so how can you do this with regular expressions yeah it's very simple regular expressions is is a, it's, it's a very powerful mechanism that can actually find you all occurrences of any given text so this is now just any text you see there are some http links like this one and this one and this one um, but then we also have some non-valid HTTP links like this one Be why is it non-valid because it doesn't have a top level domain okay so every every uh, URL must like end in a top level domain otherwise it is not a valid uh, HTTP link and this should for example this part should not be returned by your um, uh, by, by your engine uh, finding the HTTP addresses However, you also want to have uh, find links like this, where you have some top level um, domains. So like this could already be returned as a valid link, but you also want to include the trailing um, stuff here, like the, um, um, so if you have like a URL of a given page, you also want, want to have the different um, suffixes of this URL that indicate the precise location within this uh, Top within this um, site's um, link, uh, site's URL. Um, okay, so so how can we accomplish this with regular expressions? So the like general structure um, the w of of our one-liner will be something like this. So we have we want to fill our variable stay links. This should now be a list of some um, results, and we use the read all function. To do this, the find all function takes two inputs. Like the first one is the pattern, the second one is the string on which we want to t check it. Okay, so what is the string? The string obviously is the article. Okay, and a pattern we need to define. So this is just, uh, so we, we define it as a string, but the pattern is actually something that is compiled then by the regular expression engine and matched against the text so that we can find all valid um, HTTP links in the text. And then if you have done this, we simply print the variable stay links. And this should, this should then give us a list of all links in this text. For example, this one should be a valid one. This one is not a valid one, but this one is, and this one is, and this one is, and this one is as well. Okay, so we want to find all those links. So how so how can we how can we go about writing this pattern? Okay, so we already know the um like from the from the problem formulation that we want to find all valid HTTP links. So we have we start with HTTP um, colon forward slash forward slash so this is like the prefix and now if you if you would run the code we could already see an output like <laughs> we could already see five different matches here but we want to match the whole links we don't want to match only the beginning yeah why five matches yeah the first match is here the second match is here third fourth fifth and actually this one which I told you previously would be a valid match it isn't it is not a valid match because it's an HTTPS link okay so it already finds the matches, but now we want to match the whole URL, not only the prefix like this. Okay, so therefore let's close this again. We need to define, we need to create a more um, uh, a finer or more sophisticated regular expression. So first of all, a valid link now has an arbitrary number of characters or numbers. Okay, so we can have um, an arbitrary number of those and um, something like this. Okay, so so this one. This one is a basically a character class enclosed in this um, square bracket notation. So if you use the square bracket notation within 
a regular expression pattern, it has a different meaning than in Python. So in Python, square bracket notation is a list, or you also use it for indexing, for example, indexing dictionaries, indexing list elements or so. But the square bracket notation within a string um, pattern is basically the meaning of this is a character class. So it matches either one of those things in the character class. So and now in the character class, we have two ranges. We have a range of characters be between lowercase a and lowercase z and the numbers zero to nine. Okay, so we match in each in each case, we match one character out of the, all, all of those characters. Okay, and um, so, for, so for example, now we could like in the first, say in this example, we match HTTP uh, colon front slash front slash and then we match B L O G. All of them would fall in the, into the character class. But now we have the dot. Okay, so we also need to to match the dot basically. Okay, so be, uh, why? Because because we can have like this block dot 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 com. So we can have multiple dots in our URL. So therefore, we also want to allow to match the dot. So let's put the dot into the character class as well. Okay, so now in this case, we would already match like HTTP block dot f I N X T E R dot C O M. So now the, it would already match like everything until it um, it uh, reaches this front slash. But at this point we don't want to match the fr front slash. We want to match the front slash later, and you will see you will see why in a moment. So what what is also valid like in the URL? It is also valid to have some minuses this is also like this one would be a valid url if we would have um, trailing.com so we require that there's at least one dot but let's first let's first ensure that we also match the minus and so like we we cannot put the minus here just into the character class why because the minus has a special meaning in the character class the minus um has like it's it's a it's a range uh, symbol so it uh basically tries to to um, find a range between the character that precedes the minus and it comes after the minus. So therefore we need to escape the special meaning of the minus. As you see here, like from zero to nine, so the minus now has a special meaning. It doesn't match the minus, it matches just everything in between the left operand and the right operand. So it has the minus as a special operand within the character class. So therefore we first escape the minus and put it into the character class. Okay, now we match an arbitrary number of lowercase letters. Um, numbers from 0 to 9, even colons or minuses. But then, like in this case, we would also match this part, right? Because all of them would be valid matches. So we match HTTPS, uh, HTTP, front slash, front slash, not a wallet, not a minus wallet, minus URL. So all of them would match and it would return a valid match. But this is not what we want. Actually, we want to require that, there, that we match at least one dot. So at least one dot should be matched. And then after the dot, so we should not match the dot at the final location. So for example, this one should also not be a valid URL. Okay, and um, how can, so how can we ensure this? Yeah, we simply add a trailing requirement. So we, so we, so we now match one dot and we must escape the dot outside of the character class. Okay, so we cannot simply put the dot here because the dot has a special meaning in the regular expression pattern. It means match an arbitrary character, but we don't want to match an arbitrary character. We want to match a specific character, the dot. We want to match the dot. Okay, so therefore this part matches matches one dot. So now we now we have the URL, we match at least one dot, but now the dot matches at the, at the end of the current URL. So if you would leave the pattern like this, we basically, would match this whole URL. This one would be a valid match if we leave the pattern like this because we end with the dot suffix and we don't want to match this dot. So uh, what we do we do? We add another character class from A to Z, from zero to nine, um, also um, including the um, underscore and maybe the underscore, maybe, maybe we also want to match the underscore here. So we just add the underscore as a potential match to this one. We want to match the minus as well. And we want to match a trailing, uh, we want to be able to match a trailing front slash, okay? So now in this case, actually, why do we want to match a minus? Let me think. So actually, we don't want to match a minus here in the, in the, in the, in the end, okay? Because it could not happen like in a top level domain. I have never seen a top level domain like this or so, yeah, where we have a minus in top level domain, like com minus UK or so. So I don't think it's possible. So therefore, we don't match a minus in our suffix. 
everything after the dot. Okay, so this one matches an arbitrary number of characters, lowercase or numbers. Actually, I also don't think that numbers will appear in the top level domain. So therefore we could also get rid of the numbers. And uh, also underscore, I have never seen an underscore underscore. But we want to match uh, front slash for sure. Because here, for example, here we have like this one should be a valid match. So we just match the um, top level domain and now we want to match an underscore as well. Okay, so now this would be a valid match, but now we have n basically now if we have matched the um, actually now we match two. No, I think I think sorry, I think we should also be we should also allow from zero to nine underscore and match the minus as well because now and the front slash an arbitrary number because now we would actually match all of those everything after the dot. We would match with this regular expression pattern. Okay, so we match an arbitrary number of characters between a and z, between zero and nine, underscore or uh, minuses or front slashes. Okay, so now this one, for example, this whole thing would be uh, starting from here. So the, we match the dot previously. This is re this is re required. The dot is not optional, so we match the dot for sure. At least we want match one dot, and after that, after that we don't allow for for the dot to match. For example, you see it here in this character class doesn't have doesn't contain a dot. So therefore we ensure that this one is the last dot that can be matched. Yeah, because like this one is greedy, it tries to match as many as many characters as possible. Um, but then here it requires to match a dot. So therefore this matches as many characters as possible, but then the last dot it must be matched by this one. So therefore this will match the last dot and then we have an arbitrary number of characters uh, and front slashes and underscores so therefore and minuses therefore we can match this whole thing for example. Okay now that's it. Th this is how you create a regular expression so you just go one step further one step at a time. Um, you match you you like it's an iterative process to find the best regular expression for a given problem and uh, yeah we did just that. So. Let's uh, run this code and check whether we obtain the correct result. So now we match HTTP blockfinks.com applications, blockfinks.com, not a valid URL.com. Now we have like we have made it a very valid URL. If we remove this and we run again, you see now it doesn't contain the um, this match, not a valid URL anymore. So this one is a valid URL as well, and then this one is a valid URL as well with some suffix. Okay, so this is how uh, how we solved this one-liner problem. Um, if you have any questions, then leave a comment below. Thanks for listening to this video, and see you next video. Bye.